Almog, if you see me, I want you to know we are doing everything, everything to bring you back. Be strong. You know, we love you. I send you lots of strength. We do everything we can. When I saw the video clip, I saw his face, he covered himself, but he was looking frightened, frightened. And it was very hard for me to see him like this. Because <laughs> it's not, it's not my son. You know, my son is a happy guy all the time. Smile and we laugh together. And he's full of, he has lots of friends and Suddenly to see him in a situation he's alone by himself. <laughs> wow. My life is, is not the same. I can't eat. I can't sleep. All the time I am I am thinking about about him. Where is lying? Where if he is eating? Kama khom ve daga, kama anashim pashut yatsi mi gidram. Bilal shekanire u bakhar la gdir ani besakana. In the morning on Saturday morning uh the quarter to 8 he called me and he said, uh, "Mom, do you hear uh, news?" So I said, "No, you just woke me up." He said, "Mom, there are rockets all over." shooting and the, uh, the, the army finished the, uh, the, uh, closed the, the party and I don't know what's going on, I'm hiding. I'll be in contact with you and every half an hour. I love you. This was the last time I heard from him. <laughs> After a few hours, uh, one of his friends recognized uh, him from a, a video clip that uh, Hamas uh, published and she sent it to me. I recognized Almog. He was one, he, he, he was lying on, a, on a, the floor in a small room with other five uh, guys, young guys. Uh, they were tied by, uh, by ants and uh, uh, Almog was lying and with, he covered his hand with his face and he was frightened, frightened. Then I knew that he is uh, in the Hamas end, that he was kidnapped. <laughs> He's a boy. 21 years old boy who went to a party and found herself kidnapped by the Hamas that did some uh, actions worse than ISIS. The, it's, the, he's, he is in the terrible place in the world and he just went to party. Nothing political, just humanitarian. Every mother would like that her son will come back from parties. Let's not forget that among the more than 1,400 people that Hamas killed on October 7 were citizens from more than 30 UN member states, including many of the members around this very table. The victims included at least 33 American citizens. 
every one of us has a stake. Every one of us has a responsibility in defeating terrorism. The value we place on civilian life is the driving force behind our efforts to secure the release of hostages held by Hamas and other terrorist groups in Gaza. I, as others have, had the occasion to meet with families of those missing and suspected to be in the hands of Hamas on my recent trip. Several, as you know, are in this room with us today. None of us, none of us can imagine the nightmare they're living, something no family should have to endure. Their loved ones must be released immediately, unconditionally, and every member of this council, indeed, every member of this body should insist on that, insist on that, insist on that. We're grateful to Qatar, to Egypt, to the ICRC for helping secure the release of four of Hamas's hostages, but at least 200 more, and again, from many of our nations, are still in the grip of Hamas. So, again, I implore every member here, use your voice, use your influence, use your leverage to secure their unconditional and immediate release.